Hello, I voted today and for some reason I get all the idiots. I don't know why I get all the incompetent idiots in the world, but I do. Anyway, I turned up at the uh, local village hall um, at half past seven this morning and uh, thought I'd meet the crowds, masses who are going to turn out for this wonderful local election. And um, I was met at the door by a marshal, a tall, very, very young, very fit looking Afro-Caribbean chap, dressed all in black, with a lanyard with gobbledygook on it, and a marshal badge here, not a star, but a, you know, sort of tuppence a million Ryman's kind of uh, badge they use at um, things like the ladies bring them by to show they're important. Anyway, I said, good morning, I'm here to vote. And he said, have you got your ID, sir? I said, yes, I have. I, I've known for months, you know, it's kind of been, all been over the press and, uh, you know, everybody knows that you've got to have ID to vote. So yes, I've got ID. May I see it? I said, no, sir, you can't. I was polite. I said, because he said, I, I have to see it. I said, no, you don't have to see it. I said, I, I have to show it to one of the election officers and you aren't one of the election officers, you're a marshal. And that means you don't have to see it. No, I have to see it. I said, well, I'm not gonna show it to you. I'm going in. So he said, he barred my way. Okay. So I said, well, I'll wait until somebody comes. And with that, a woman came out and she just finished voting. And he took the opportunity to shout inside, I need some help out here. Can't think why. Anyway, a lady appeared, very well spoken, looked a bit like Joyce Grenfell. Good morning, she said. I said, oh, hello. She said, what's the problem? I said, I haven't got a problem. I haven't got a problem at all. I'm here to vote. She said, well, come in. I said, but he won't let me. She said, pardon? I said, he said he wants to see my ID before I can come in. She went, nonsense, come in, come in. I thought, that's good. I'm dealing with proper people now. Thank goodness for that. So I, I explained, I said, look, you know, I, I do know the law and uh, I don't have to show him because I don't think he's anything to do with you, is he really? He's probably a subcontractor. And she said, yes, he is, you know, he was security. I said, oh, I understand. She said, he's really only there to ask if you've got ID to remind you. I said, he did that. But then he asked to see it. And he wouldn't let me in until he'd seen it. Well, I don't need to give proof to anybody. So she went, indeed you don't, sir. Thank you, I said. And over I went to this desk with three people sitting at it, presumably in rank order. Chap with moustache and glasses sitting there. A very pretty woman with a polo neck jumper on, slim and very attractive, sitting next to him. And then a young, probably late teens, junior clerk sitting at the end. So the... Number two said, uh, could I see your ID, sir? I said, yes, of course you can. And I handed him my driving license. He said, has it got your address on it? Well, all driving licenses have your address on them. So I said, yes, it has. And he said, indeed it is. Yes, got you. Your number so-and-so. I said, it's even got my photograph on it. Not a very good one, but it is me. I promise. Ha, ha, ha. They were all going, hee, 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 hee. he handed it back to me and said, um, well, sir, you know, we're all learning here because, you know, this is our first, uh, our first uh, poll where we've had to ask for ID. I said, I quite understand, but that's, that's absolute tosh, isn't it? You've known for months about this. It's not as though somebody sprung it on you yesterday. Everybody's known for months and months that you've got to have an ID. I can't see what the problem is, frankly. They were going, hee, 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 
I moved on to the pretty lady who handed me two sheets, one yellow and one blue, local and borough elections. Fine. There's the booth, off you go. So I go into the booth and I make my marks on the various names, the runners and riders, and uh, made my selection, did it in the correct fashion, folded both papers and came out. And there, Joyce Grenfell was sitting behind two big black boxes, one with a blue label on the front, saying, put your blue cards in here. So I put the blue one in there and a white one. I said, a white one? I said, it should be yellow, shouldn't it? Blue in one, yellow in the other. What, what's the white one for? She went, oh. <laughs> she said, they, they gave us white ones instead of yellow. I said, God, they only had one job, didn't they? <laughs> and the team across the way there went, <laughs> Well, so I put my yellow in the white label box and said, thank you very much to the officer. Thank you for making that an easy and <clears throat> a pleasant process. I wish you all an excellent day and uh, good luck um, because it is new to you after all. Um, it's, you know, the first one that's going live. Um, and I hope I'm the only awkward customer you get. <laughs> they all went. Anyway, I went outside and I said to the marshal, thanks mate. I said, I do appreciate that this isn't your fault. I said, it's the fault of the clowns inside. They should have briefed you that your job is to just remind people they need ID, not to ask for it. So they're the idiots. I thought you were really polite. I thought you were absolutely dressed the part. You've obviously taken the trouble to turn out here today, very early, looking the absolute dogs. And all power to you, fella. Have a good day. And I hope everybody else is as pleasant as uh, can be and doesn't cause you any problems. I'm sure you won't get any. Thank you. Bye-bye. Smiled. And off I went. So, that's my day. Exciting, isn't it? But why me? It's like, it's like knuckles on buses. They all seem to come and sit by me and tell me their problems. Maybe I just look that kind of face that looks as though I'm going to be causing a problem. I don't know. Anyway, that's enough from me. Night-night. I'm going to bed now. Bye.